Hello again, it's John with the Pink Prusa. As you can see, it is printing. Uh, sorry about the delay in the, uh, in the update. I've been having problems with my webcam. Either it won't encode the video or it just won't work. So I think I got it working now. As you can see, the Y motor mount is being printed. It looks pretty good. Uh, I've made some adjustments to my workstation, if you don't mind the shakiness for a second. I've got a new fan. I only turn it on after the first couple layers are printed, and then uh, I turn it on. I've got the pink cruise over there underneath the spotlight. Up there. Everything looks good. And I've got my spool of filament up there. I don't think it's the best way to hang it, but I will come up with something else better. So I'm going to take it back down so you can watch. Everything lo looking pretty good. I did have to replace the belt for the uh, for the X with the one I got from the bot mill kit because the belt I have was an American size. It was like some type of American size, whatever. That is that's the T5 I, I have, and I did order the new pulleys from Maker Gear. These are the T5 pulleys uh, that I did order. I wonder if I have any on hand. Uh, they're somewhere. They're in a box. Uh, but yeah, I think I've narrowed everything down to basically the minimum amount of stuff I need to actually keep printing. And I don't see any reason why I can't just keep printing as long as the prints keep look, coming out looking pretty decent. Which, using PLA, it's a lot easier to get good prints. I do have some small issues with getting my holes perfect, perfectly circled. But I am working on that. And that's not a big deal. You can always use a drill and drill it out. I will not be printing out any gears and sending them to you until I think they're good enough. If I can't get them there, I'll just order them from Maker Gear and I'll give you those for free. They're a $10 value each, uh, or total, so um, that'll be good for you. I just finished printing up another Z motor coupling. The one I am currently using is broken, so I had to print up another one. This is actually the second one I printed, and it looks pretty darn good. Come on, focus, focus, no? Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Blue PLA gives the illusion that a part does not look as good as it actually does, because you can see all the other layers right below it. So it does give that impression that it looks bad, but when you touch it, it's like smooth as glass. It's very nice. It's a, good, uh, it's a nice feeling, uh, but it does look a little rough once it gets some printing. Right now, I'm trying to perfect getting the, the layers solid, really solid and the top and bottom layers is as watertight or airtight as I can get. Because, for example, I printed up a whistle the other day and it did not whistle. It did not make the whistle sound, so I need to work on that. So, that's this week's update. Uh, keep in touch. I will keep broadcasting on Ustream whenever Ustream will co cooperate with me on that. It is being a little bit of a pain right now. But I do send out updates on my Twitter feed at Mr. John Ecker on Twitter and on the Rep Rep SoCal forums if you find that on Google Groups. I am on the Rep Rep SoCal forums and I send that out that people know. If you're in San Diego and you're interested in Rep Rep, uh, go ahead and contact me. It's not a big deal. I'm just Mr. John Ecker, M R J John Ecker, E C K E R, at gmail.com. You can reach me on YouTube through this video or any one of those social media sites. Okay, have a nice night.